All right, I found this question to be extremely interesting because if you've ever been curious like I have about, um, you know, why arsenate is poisonous and um, what makes it poisonous, then um, this is this is one of, this is going to clear up a lot of that for you. So arsenate is chemically similar to phosphate, okay, and it's used as an alternative substrate by many phosphate requiring enzymes. So basically, what that means is um, certain enzymes use phosphate or add phosphate groups to um, a molecule. And by adding those phosphate groups, um, they can substitute it for arsenate in some cases, okay? And in contrast, phosphate, however, has an anhydride bond between the arsenate and the carbon. And that will click, quickly hydrolyze to water. So it will very rapidly hydrolyze to water, much more rapidly than the thioesters um, and other such high energy bonds. So it says, suggest why arsenate is a compound of choice for murderers, but not cells. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is that the metabolic pathway that this is operating on, or that I'm going to be talking about arsenate, um, disrupting is glycolysis, okay? And the arsenate will attach at step six, replacing phosphate that normally attaches at this step. And the product of the reaction will be what's known as 1-arsenal-3-phosphoglycerate. So normally it's, you know, the normal step six, I drew them out here. So this is um, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate here, okay? And remember, this is the step that reduces NAD plus to NADH. And we're adding, we're normally adding this phosphate group. And what we wind up with is this, what's called 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, because there's a phosphate group here and a phosphate here. So this is what we're normally, and of course, NADH and H+. Plus. This is what we're normally dealing with in step six, okay? But with arsenate, what can happen here is you can have this high energy bond formed here, and this is an anhydride bond, okay? And it's in red because it's high energy. And that forms this product up here, one arsenal three phosphoglycerate, okay? And what happens is water comes in, okay? Water is added here, and it hydrolyzes that bond. And what we're left with here is the product of what, what would be step seven in the glycolysis pathway, and that's 3-phosphoglycerate, okay? But the problem with that is, is that we're forming that before we should, and that's exactly what I'm going to explain as the reason why arsenate, it, it does not allow us to harness the energy. The hydrolysis is not covered, um, the hydrolysis is not coupled to any sort of energy storage molecules, okay? So that's basically what I'm going to say here. And because of its sensitivity to water, the high energy bond is destroyed, okay, before the molecule that it contains can diffuse to reach the enzyme. Okay, so it never reaches the enzyme in step seven. That's what I'm saying there. So the, it, the phosphate group, the high energy bond is destroyed. It never reaches the enzyme. And the product of hydrolysis is 3-phosphoglycerate. And it's the same product that's normally formed in step seven. So that's exactly what I'm saying. In step six here, in step six, if we use if we have arsenate here, then the hydrolysis forms the product of step seven ahead of time. Okay? And that's normally formed in step seven, and that's by an enzyme catalyzed by an enzyme known as phosphoglycerate kinase. Okay? And because the hydrolysis occurs non-enzymatically, the energy release cannot be harvested to generate ATP. And that's what I meant by it's not coupled to any sort of energy carrying mm. molecules. No, you know, nothing there to, to take up that energy. It's just being, you know, dispersed to the universe. And that's not useful because we need to have some sort of molecule to store the energy in in order to use it in the future. Okay? And that's what's not happening here. So the hydrolysis is non-enzymatically occurs non-enzymatically, energy is released, it cannot be harvested to make ATP, and the arsenate thus wastes metabolic energy by uncoupling the phosphotransfer reaction. So that's the whole thing. Arsenate, when you have that incorporated in place of phosphate, it uncouples the phosphotransfer okay, reaction, and that's why it's poisonous. So I thought this was a kind of an interesting question and uh, thought-provoking as to you know how important actually step six and step seven in glycolysis really is in, in, in terms of the entire process.